which note taking program is best for university and school, I'll go with the basic pen and paper. It has served me better than any tool I've tried in the past. Probably closest notion um, has been very popular and is very well liked. But for me, pen and paper beat everything because something about physically writing your notes um, does two things. One, you process it more as you're doing it. Um, but the second reason is no one can write for hours and hours. So when you want to write something, you purposely try and summarize and distill it. And so that it can fit and you're not wasting lots of pen, lots of paper. Um, that is an art in itself. And the only way you can summarize something is if you really understand the information. And so I've found that doing that kind of um, summarizing on paper actually forced me to really understand the content. And if I couldn't summarize it in a one line, it meant I didn't understand it and I'd go back and learn it more. Um, which program languages do you master and your favorite one? I've done a few in my time. You see a lot of developers mix between doing one, just one or two and really loving that and sticking to it. And some people do a little bit of everything and they don't really care about the language. Um, I'll come under that. So I think at the moment I do mostly Python and TypeScript. Previous jobs have been Java, C++, PHP, Ruby. Yeah, kind of touched a bit of everything and DevOps world as well. Favorite one, um, again, I'm not that wedded to any of them. Python with typing, I find quite nice together. I wouldn't say I love any particular one, whichever does the best job I'm happy with. SAK, Mac or Windows, Mac, um, easy question. Mac, yeah, well, we are running a stream on a Windows system, know, but there is a MacBook on the table. We also as had well. to fiddle for a long time to get it working. So yeah, that, what can that, I say? That is true. That is true. God's um. fire. <laughs> God's fire. How many languages do you speak? And someone Ooh. was asking if English were is your first language, which English, it is. English obviously. is my first language. Mother tongue is Tamil, but I never learnt it. I can understand it decently, but I can't speak it. Um, and. I've learned French, Spanish, Italian um, in the past. I uh, can't say a lot of it stuck, but I've known it a bit. Um, and currently learning Japanese. You are currently learning Japanese? I am, Why? Um, so I was in a call with um, Honda. You can see we're one of our clients. Um, and they obviously speak Japanese. And after a while, I was like, I wish I could understand a bit of it. So in mid-call, I was like, okay, I need to get Duolingo. Give this a go. Um, Incredibly difficult. It's going to take me a long time. Slowly working my way through that at the moment. Wow, that's so cool. Um, I can't remember. Did I tell the story last time of how I started coding? I don't think I did. I don't think um, so. So it was, I think, I'm trying to work. Yeah, it was like maybe 2010-ish. Um, iPhone had just come 2008, 2009, 2008 or seven or eight maybe, and they started the. Um, our app store and the people are making apps and suddenly it's like anyone can make an app and it can go to millions of people so and I had like a little iPod touch which would also get these apps and I was like I want to make an app like this seems so cool um, but you could only make it on a Mac I didn't have a Mac I didn't really spend a lot of money I didn't really have Playstations or anything like this but I was like I really want to learn um, so my dad bought me this MacBook for like 700 quid the very basic like the cheapest which was still expensive um, and then I, I had to, I had to learn. So I started learning. And then every time I was about to give up, it was like, I can't give up. I've just spent 700 quid. I've never spent more than like 10 quid in my life on a gift. Um, I've got to do this. Um, that forced my perseverance at, um, coding. So yeah, patience, perseverance. Yeah. Having some drive of why you're doing it. Um, which for me was just to pay off this MacBook, but for a lot of people can be like, I want to make this specific project. I want to make a website that does this. I want to make a game. Having something that's driving you is really important and will help you get through the frustrations, which we still get coding day to day now. I like that. How, how a MacBook bootstrapped my software engineering career or something. I can see the video title. Yeah, see, this is why I need you to help me for a yeah. YouTube channel. Dominic Zoric. Zoric? Yeah. Italian or American pizza, <laughs> which is actually um, not a random question because I recently did a survey, a poll on my on my Instagram story. So which one? Uh, Italian for me. Um, I do like the deep, deep dish um, Chicago style, but Italian has more taste. Deep dish if I'm just really hungry. 
um, we're Italian for taste. What about the Dr. Oetker pizza that I offered you earlier? <laughs> um, the one that we had. Yes, that was a good one. Good, very Italian style. Um, kind, kind of for you to say. <laughs> um, what about ordering pizza? Is that the same or would you, would you, would you change your answer? Mm, still Italian. Yeah, 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 it's like it's a, like, this is a vast majority because basically I had my friend over on Saturday and we had this argument because we wanted to order pizza and I'm I'm a reasonable person so I order American pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um and I go into a restaurant and have Italian mm, pizza like yeah. the same person. <laughs> and then he was like, No, I want my Italian pizza delivered to my place as as, <laughs> as if that's a normal thing to do. Uh, so I was like that's mm -hmm. weird and uh, that's wrong because it would be cold you have that's one piece you have like uh, one slice and then it gets cold it's really thin it's not really the atmosphere you might want a glass of wine or i don't know just sit <laughs> and see how they take it off the oven and all of that so i prefer this i, I don't know like just out of the pizza out of the box <laughs> like it's uh i don't know i it's feel like that's fair american pizza is, is better for the, suited mm. to the setting mm. um but more than 80% of my Instagram followers disagree, so <laughs> I'm, I'm in the minority.